Guys, the sneaker market is an all-time low at the moment. I'm sure you resellers have been hit the hardest. I've seen a ton of sneakers recently that I thought were going to do well and have some good resale value, and I've seen them just sit on shelves or sell for a fraction of the profit that I estimated them to sell for. And this even goes for some great sneaker collabs that once would have gone to the moon, like Nike Off-White. But... We're going to get into this, we're going to get into what it means for resellers, what it means for you lot that like to collect shoes, we're going to cover it all in this video, so without further ado, let's get into this. Now guys, there are multiple reasons for this crash, and if you live here in the UK, you guys will know that right now fuel prices are soaring and going through the roof, which means a lot of people are having to cut back on the luxuries that they would normally have. And the issue is, it's not just everyday items that are rising in cost, it's actually the sneakers themselves that are rising in price. I was reading through an article this week and it had this title. And this has caused some huge controversy on social media, with some people complaining that Nike's Jordan sneakers have been slowly creeping up in price over the last few months and years, and others just saying that it was inevitable because the cost of living is rising. So, what does this mean for you lot then? Well, the Jordan 3 and 4, as it said in this article, is being raised to a price of $210. Now, these used to retail at $190, so this has made quite a sizable difference. But, and I know a lot of you are sneakheads, and if you're adding these to your personal collection and you are getting them at retail, it's not too much of an increase, but still, that's every single pair of Jordan 3s and 4s that you guys are going to want. You're going to be adding them to your collection, and you're going to obviously be paying $20 increase. But, what does this mean for resellers then? I presume that the resale price will just go up even higher to factor in this $20 extra added on to the retail price. But... Like I said, at the moment, the market is a bit shaky. And it's not only just with the Jordans that we've seen this. It's the Yeezy 350 as well. Now, here in the UK, the Yeezy 350 used to retail for £180. And now this has shot up to £200. Now, again, it's only a £200 increase. But the resale on the Yeezy 350 throughout this year, obviously, you guys know we've got lots of colorways. And it's not actually been that great as it is. Because we've got that many colorways. People are making them brick. And it's just not ideal. So just putting the retail price up just means, again, that you're not going to be looking at as much profit unless we get a really dope colorway, which I can't really see happening, guys, anytime soon, to be honest, with the 350s. And as well, we've also seen the most iconic, well, the arguably most iconic Nike sneaker raise its price. And that is, of course, the Nike Air Jordan 1. Now... These sneakers used to retail for around about 135 to 140 UK pounds, and now they have raised the price to 155. So we've seen again sort of a 15 to 20 pound increase in the retail price on these. And actually, recently we've seen pictures like this of Jordans just being sat on shelves in shops, and the Jordan One that is not normally what we're used to seeing with the Jordan One. Normally they sell really quickly, and on StockX at the moment you can actually pick a pair of Jordan Ones up, a few pairs actually below the retail price which is obviously not good for the resellers guys but obviously it's a bit of a positive if you guys are adding them to your personal collection but again the hype's just not around the sneaker anymore hence why it's sitting on the shelf and you can get it below the retail it's almost as if the world has come back to more of a reality state, you guys. During the COVID-19 pandemic, people were paying ridiculous prices for sneakers on the aftermarket, like StockX and Go, and they were seeing huge rises in the number of customers that they were getting. Average people who had no interest in heart sneakers before were now becoming wealthy resellers, and cut groups were becoming the next big thing to get into, and everyone was happy. But now the pandemic is over, everyone is realising they can't always afford to pay well over the retail price of the sneakers, and so they're just not doing so. What does this mean for the future of the sneaker market then, guys? Will it ever be what it was before? Is reselling dying out? And should you buy sneakers at the resale price anymore? Well, let me tell you what I think. Firstly, the sneaker market is like any other market out there. And as with every market, they'll all have the down times and they all have the up times. And it just so happens that at the minute, the market is down. But... I know that the past is not an accurate predictor of the future, but as with all markets, I am hoping that this will eventually go back up. And... I know some of you lot are sat at home right now with 20 plus hype sneakers and my advice would just be to be patient 
and let the low price period pass over before selling them as I have a few hype sneakers myself and I'm going to be selling them but I would definitely not recommend panic selling because that is not what I'm doing unless you guys are really desperate for the money please do not panic sell your sneakers because you will just lose money with absolutely no purpose just hold on to them for the moment guys I know it's not an ideal situation but if you can afford to hold on to them do not panic sell and as for paying resale for your sneakers, I would definitely say that you guys are still safe to pay resale value for your sneakers. I would say that it's probably one of the best times. If you guys are looking to add them for your personal collection, that is anyway. But I will definitely still not recommend you guys go ahead and pick up sort of an investment pair of sneakers. Like I wouldn't recommend going to pick up like Ben and Jerry Dunks, for example, because I know some people might pick them up or might have picked them up in the past for investments and just see if they've gone up a little bit. You might make maybe $100 to $200 on them. But I definitely would not recommend this at the moment just due to the sneaker crash. Right. What does this mean for reselling then? I do not think that reselling is dying out whatsoever, but... Like I said, I still don't recommend investment sneakers, but I don't think it is dying out at all. And one day, like I said, I think the price will pick back up. And that's why I've recommended to you guys that if you have got a lot of sneakers at the moment that you're looking to sell, because I know that some of you guys are personal shoppers. I know that some of you guys have bulk sneakers and you want to sell them. But like I said, I would definitely not recommend selling them at the moment because I do not think resale is dead. And I think this is just sort of a short period where people are figuring out the finances still just due to the circumstances of the cost of living rising all over the world at the minute. And I think that one day, in the not too distant future, we will still be able to resell sneakers for a nice profit. So then guys, overall, there are some good things that have came out of this sneaker crash. That being that you lot can get some steals and build up your collection of sneakers cheaper than you would have been able to two years ago when the market was an all-time high during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and pick some sneakers up, now would be sort of the perfect time. I mean, I'm definitely going to go ahead and add some to my personal collection. Obviously, when I add them to my collection, I'm not planning on reselling them again. And it doesn't matter if I lose a bit of money on them because, like I said, I'll be adding them to my personal collection. So for you lot, then it is definitely worth it. I know it is a bit of a negative time for the resellers, but guys, just take advantage of the crash at the moment make sure you get some steals if there's any sneakers that you guys have wanted just go online check all the websites out that you would normally buy your sneakers off obviously make sure that you're getting 100 percent authentication guarantee with ebay i know they do that and i know there's been some issues around it with StockX recently but that's just up to you guys just make sure you are careful when you're out shopping for your sneakers but definitely i would recommend adding some to your personal collection if there's some that you've wanted for a while now would be the time to go and pick them up but I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I hope it's been informative. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I would love to hear your opinion on this crash in the comments section below. But if you did enjoy today's video, please do drop a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. This has been great. I've enjoyed making this video for you guys. Stay safe and goodbye.